What's your worst story from the throw him in the pool? He'll learn how to swim parenting style? I had never gone camping before I was 11. I really wanted to go with my 10 year old cousin. My parents took me to the woods and handed us the tent and a half full bag of ranch delicious and like a pack of bratwursts and my 7 year old sister. Then they pulled off, leaving us to camp for the first time alone in the woods with a 7 year old. Not a fun weekend. I never went camping again, but it was apparently fine because that's how my dad and uncle learned. I'm just grateful for the lack of serial killers and black bears. They should have been arrested for that. How did you survive cold at night? Lack of water. My dad was notorious for the rub dirt on it method when I got hurt as a kid. When I was 9 I was in a nasty motorcycle accident out in the desert. I broke and misplaced my fibula of bone was protruding from my leg. My dad didn't want to end his desert trip early, so he told me not to look at it and to keep trying to walk. I was in so much pain any time I would move I would black out. My brother was so concerned he urged my dad that we should go home. My dad finally gave in, but was so drunk he let my 11 year old brother at the time drive us out of the desert he was so nervous he hit so many bumps and each bump I would black out then come to a once we got home he thought it would be best to sleep it off before going to the hospital. The next day I was admitted to the hospital and my dad was taken into custody by CPS. Dear god what the f peep. I got pregnant at 13. Mom allowed her new hubby to take me for the abortion then he beat my ass when I got home from the procedure. She never asked. Who? What? How? I'd been molested since I was 4 fifths and somewhere in my stupid brain I guess I thought that sex was love. When I got pregnant again at 14, I was made to keep the baby to teach me a lesson. Again. No one asked. No one tried to educate me. Finally, at 25, my mom pissed me off with her cluelessness and in a fit of rage, I blurted examples of all the years of sexual abuse I endured and she said. All these years, I thought back quote Robert had been messing with you, and that was the reason you were acting out. You guys, when I tell you, that my head exploded at the same time all of the air left my body. I was stunned. 1. She thought her now ex-husband had been molesting me, impregnated me not once, but twice. Yet you never asked me. For clarity, it was never my stepdad. 2. Your desire to be married to a serial cheater was far more important than my total health. She divorced him when I was 23 because she finally caught him with his best friend's wife. That was simply too much for her to handle. 3. This explains why she shipped my daughter and I after my grandparents. 3 months after her birth. 4. My mom has always had an unnaturally close relationship with my oldest daughter this conversation revealed why. For 12 years, my mom thought my daughter was fathered by her husband. Anyway, I finally learned about sex education slash birth control from my 11th grade pet teacher. She saw my miserable self and did her best to mother and educate me at every opportunity. Not my story, but my mom's. She developed a phobia after she was thrown into a pool to learn how to swim. At the age of 70, she still doesn't know how to... She's terrified of being on the water, even in a safety vest. And then, some fake clairvoyant told her she would die by drowning. So we spent our summers in the mountains as far away from being on water. Undefined. Edit 2. Fake clairvoyant. Real 1. Same difference haha. Doing trauma surgery. A mom decided she needed a nap and told her 15 years old daughter to drive. Mom survived. Daughter didn't. First and most painful organ harvest I did. Oh my god. That is horrific. I was scared of the deep end so my dad threw me in. My cousin parked her inflatable mattress in the corner I was in immediately. My parents supposedly yelled at him to move. He didn't. I don't know how long I was, was under the mattress for. But I was spitting up water slash choking when I came back up. I was maybe 6 at the time. Wow so the double whammy. Parents and cousin double teaming you to get you to drown. 
ignore them bullies, and don't show a reaction. When they're bored they'll stop. Completely false. And you wonder, why I hate going to school so much. Mother. It's not a wonder, that when I went to secondary school, I made a motto of don't stand for anyone's bull speep. I went through too much of this speep for anyone else to do the same. Ironically enough, there are studies that state that the trauma childhood bullying goes for the rest of one's life. So I'm pretty much set. My dad, when he decided to give me driving lessons when I was a teenager, which turned out to be a driving lesson, singular. He took me to the parking lot across the street from our house and had me tool around to get used to the steering and pedals for about 15 minutes. Then, annoyed that I wasn't catching on fast enough for his taste, he decided we should go on the actual road and I'd learn faster in a more challenging environment. Cue him barking orders to speed up, slow down, hit the brakes. In an increasingly frustrated voice as I tooled along, terrified I was going to hit someone. The culmination of our lesson came when he noticed we were low on gas and told me to pull into the gas station. Keep in mind my sum total of driving experience at this point was about 25 minutes, which did not include parallel parking. I pulled into the gas station and came at the pump at something like a 30 degree angle. He grabbed the steering wheel to correct and actually yelled at me, Jesus Christ. Don't you know how to drive? To which I said, no, I don't. You're teaching me, remember. He drove back home silently. That was the end of dad's driving lessons. I signed up with a driving school after that. My younger cousin 4 at the time was a climber and always needed help getting down. His dad told his mom to leave him. He'll either learn how to get down himself or stop climbing. Cousin ended up climbing onto the roof, fell off and got impaled on a fence pole. One very expensive trip to the air, and he now has a cool scar on his thigh. Undefined. Not a parental neglect story, but that reminds me of being 6 and jumping off our two story house. My family was roofers and they were fixing the roof. My uncle was walking around the driveway and I decided it would be fun to yell. Catch me. As I leaped. He did indeed catch me. My parents about had heart attacks lmao. Hurt my arm playing football during morning break at school. Was sent home by the school nurse. My dad said it was fine. Bandaged it and sent me to school the next day only for them to send me home again within an hour. My mum made my dad take me to hospital and my arm was broken. My wrist had spilt lengthways. It was in casts for 9 months. I was secretly buzzing to be honest because, well, that showed him the knob. Undefined. My father did the same thing. I broke my left arm on the trampoline when I was like 5 and I came in the house crying and he told me I was being dramatic and didn't take me to the hospital until the next day. I got stung by a bee and my mother was convinced I was faking. At the point I started to struggle to breathe. She finally irritatingly relented and made me walk to the hospital pushing my baby brother's stroller the entire way. When I got there, the staff were horrified sometimes mortified, apparently. Rushed me in to give me an epinephrine shot, and luckily that did the trick. Many months later, a bee got into my bedroom, and my father called me a pussy for coming and getting him to deal with it, instead of dealing with it myself. You have to learn how to deal with these things sometime. Or, like, you know, I could someone not allergic to bees to come and safely deal with the bee instead of risking hospitalization? Edit, just to address some stuff I'm getting comments. I agree my parents were terrible and abusive for for more than just this one single incident. I have been NC for about 20 years because of the way they treated me as a child. I have countless incidents like this from both of them. This one just stood out at the time I was replying to this. Cliff jumping. 20 feet up a girl's dad pushed her, but she hesitated and tried to stay up there but slipped. Landed on her back in a boulder from 15 feet then the water. You probably just killed her then I jumped in to do a rescue. Luckily a lifeguard group was there doing practice rescues and even had the board. How she only survived with just bruises is a miracle. Search and rescue pulled her out the rest of the way. Thank you for watching. 
don't forget to subscribe and like the video.